Hi, I'm John with Roundabout Woodworks and I was going to make a video, a project video today, but I got a comment on one of my older videos uh, about wearing a ring while operating a lathe. So I thought today I would do a video about shop safety. Uh, when I was in junior high school, all those years ago, I had the greatest shop teacher that any kid could have had. Uh, his name was David Schock. Uh, and he was awesome. Uh, but he instilled in us the, the, I don't know what you call it, you have to have presence of mind when you're doing anything with something that can hurt you. You'll notice on my videos, if you go back and watch all of them, you don't have to go back and watch all of them, but this video is no different from any other. I don't have a disclaimer or an admonition warning you or advising you to be careful and, um, you know, keep your hands away from spinning blades and all that. If you're standing in your shop or in any shop, surrounded by machines, that uh, have sharp blades and belts and pulleys and uh, that fling wood and you know basically allow you to, to turn wood or cut wood or wood is harder than you are and if you're standing around a bunch of machines that uh, can chew it up and spit out sawdust and you don't recognize an inherent danger then you've got bigger problems than a ring on your finger or a watch, or long hair, or long sleeves, or, or whatever. Uh, I, I appreciate your concern for my safety, and I appreciate your concern for the safety of people that might watch me. Uh, but you're not in a position to offer advice. If you were standing here in my shop, or I was standing in your shop, uh, we can have conversation about uh, what's dangerous and what's not dangerous. But you're not here. You're somewhere off in space watching me after the fact. And that's one of the that's one of the things that's hardest about making videos is keeping up one end of the conversation when there should be two ends of the conversation. You should be talking back and forth with me. I should be talking back and forth with you. So, that can't happen. So, my videos are not to show you exactly the safest, best way of doing anything. My videos are to show you how I do things, to give you ideas, to, I don't know. I like watching turning videos. Um, I tend not to watch my own because I was there when I did it, I was there when I edited it. Uh, I, by the time you see my video the first time, I think I've seen it five or six times and you know I remember so I don't need to watch mine again. Uh, but occasionally I do just because it comes up on, in YouTube and it's the next video and I watch it. Um, but I don't watch any videos with the idea that is this guy doing it safely? Uh, so that, that's not even in my mind. I'm doing it safely because I'm here. I don't want to hurt myself. So I evaluate all the risks continually, just like you should do. Um, and if I'm doing something, it's because it's safe. It may not be safe for you, but it's definitely safe for me because I have my own best interests at heart. Um, I like me more than you like me, and uh, I'm more concerned about me than you are. That, that's really all I have to say about safety. Uh, I do things that that may be against the rules sometimes. Um, there's no guard on my table saw. I keep my hands away from the blade. I use push sticks. Um, I stand off to the side, out of the way of the firing line. You know where the where the wood shoots back if uh, you lose it. Uh, at the lathe. 
I don't stand next to the wood when it's uh, freshly mounted. Uh, I stop occasionally to check it, make sure it's still solidly mounted, and uh, I don't spend any time at all right next to that spinning piece of wood, no matter how secure it is. Uh, I have a switch here at the tailstock end of my lathe, so I can, I'm can. i standing three feet away when I turn the lathe on, uh, especially the first time. I'm going to stand back and, and watch, see if it, if it comes off. But I already have a pretty good idea that it's not going to come off, but just in case, I stand back. My bandsaw also doesn't have a guard, and as I get older and my eyes get dimmer, I have, find I have to move closer and closer to the cut to, to see what I'm doing sometimes. I am very much aware that there is eight inches of uh, moving woodcutting blade that far away from my forehead. Makes me nervous, so I, I lean back. Uh, I don't get too close to the blade. You know, that might freak you out. You might think, that's terrible, nobody should do that, and stop. But uh, it's been like that for years. I've made lots and lots of cuts, and it's perfectly safe because I'm aware of it. You know, I don't open the rear enclosure and stick my hand in it while the motor's running because no benefit, and uh, it's dangerous. Uh, but wearing a ring on the lathe doesn't bother me. Wearing a ring while I'm working on the table saw doesn't bother me. Uh, it's too hot to wear long sleeves in there usually, but uh, in the winter months, I'm sometimes wearing long sleeves. So anyway, the, the point to this video is uh, I appreciate your concern for my safety. And I appreciate your concern for the safety of those that watch my videos. But your comment doesn't do any good. Um, and I don't know, you know, I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm just saying this because it's completely ineffective. Uh, and I don't really know what else to say about that. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do a, a blog post. Yeah, I have a blog. Uh, I started a blog uh, years ago. Uh, in fact, I just did, it's on Blogspot, whatever that is. When I started my company, I went and started a blog with the same name, mostly to keep somebody else from, from doing it. But, uh, and I never posted anything. I had intended to post stuff all the time, but I never did. And when I went back uh, a few days ago to do a blog post, it, I noticed that it was still under my old uh, ID, and it told me that it was five years old. So I went five years without a post on my blog, uh, but I've been trying to make up for it. So yeah, I have a blog, and I'm going to do a, a... It's easier for me to write things down than it is for me to talk, because uh, I don't want to do a script for my videos. I probably should, because I'm scatterbrained. You know, if you were standing here in my shop, and we'd talk, and you'd never know I was an idiot. Uh, but me standing here on video... I, I lose track of what I've said and what I'm going to say. So it's easier for me to write things down. And uh, so I'm going to do a blog post about safety and I'll, I'll put the link down below and I'm going to link to the video in the blog. Uh, but anyway, uh, again, I'd like to thank you all for subscribing. Uh, I really do thank you for all the comments and emails. That means a lot to me. It means more to me than I thought it would back when I didn't have any. Uh, it's it's nice to know that uh, it's nice to know y'all. Uh, uh, I don't know what the word is. Anyway, I appreciate y'all. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, if this is the first video of mine that you've seen. 
they're not all like this. Uh, some of them might actually do some work. Uh, anyway, if you haven't subscribed, if you're not a subscriber now, uh, go ahead and subscribe. It makes it easier to find my videos. I, that's, I don't get anything from subscriptions. Uh, I don't actually get anything from these videos. Uh, monetarily, I don't, I don't make any money from these videos. Uh, anyway, uh, trying to come up with a catchphrase, but I don't have one. Anyway, y'all see me next time.